there's something hanging from the hole. Good. It's similar to the one stevedores use to lift stuff. Nice building. All that's left is an empty shell. The chain it's hanging from is attached to the arm of the crane. Hey, one time I saw a catalog from the Japanese company that manufactures these contraptions. Turns out they're designed to withstand an entire building falling on top of them. Rubble! Could perfection be any more beautiful than in a striking piece of rubble? Perhaps in a white twisty tie or... Well, Gina, I've decided to take this one because the placement of the two bits of metal creates such a sublime equilibrium that the majesty of the chunk at the base is emphasized to utter perfection. Though in all truthfulness, the rest of it fully merits its description using the poetic term rubble as well. That's kind of an awkward place to put a hammer. I can hardly see it. It's not the latest model, but I'm sure it could be used for something. Do I have so little faith in my own strength that I don't think I can pry it off with my bare hands? Presto. Let's see how this works. Yes! I don't know if I'll be able to use it for anything, but at least I figured out why the sheet of iron was there. It was covering a ditch. I can't see very far down, but... Look! A briefcase! Wow! A blowtorch! I can use that. Mm, I don't really see the point, but why the heck not? Done. If I try to go up it again, I may earn myself another slap. Since I don't feel like having another homeless individual slap me upside the head again, I shall try the diplomatic approach. Hey, you, Lummox, come out if you feel like it. Lay off the insults, pal. I haven't dissed anyone here. Haven't dissed anyone? You slapped me across the face harder than Bud Spencer. And I shall repeat that gift for you, pal, if ever you try to prance into my office again without an appointment. By the way, do me a favor and call me by my nom de plume, Mr. Tom Finnegan, scriptwriter. Scriptwriter? Have you written the script of any real movies? Too many, pal. So many I don't have any ideas left in my head. You're out of ideas? Hey! I have tons of them. Oh, no. Here we go. Why is it everyone thinks we scriptwriters will be interested in other people's ideas? Uh, 
Because you don't have any of your own? Pal, your reasoning is flawless. Let your imagination flow, pal. A dorky guy is driving along and hits a girl being chased by the Sandretti Mafia clan. I don't know. That could be golden chicken material. Pal, please be so kind. Come into my office. A nerdy guy is driving along and hits a girl. A beautiful one, of course. I see it. I'm starting to imagine the scene. Step, step, step. <laughs> Help! The Sandretti Mafia kind is chasing me. Step, 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 step. Hey, damn, she's getting away. Ah! Hmm. What a pretty girl. I'll take her to the hospital. We'd have to change the name of the Mafia clan. I don't want those Sandretti brothers coming over to mess up my office, my wardrobe, or my smooth skin. One thing's clear. We've got a blockbuster on our hands. I just need to know how it ends. Anyway, why were you paying me this visit, pal? I think I know how to continue the plot of the nerdy guy. Let your imagination flow, pal. The girl and the geek escape from the mafia and... They meet three drag queens who are lost in the desert. Hmm. That's been done a million times, but it might work. I see it. I'm starting to imagine the scene. Three damsels? Ooh, what a stud. Hop in our bus, big boy. Step, step, step. Come here, there's a great view. Yes, this is a great view. There could be a big audience for that. Then what? The Sandrettis find them again. They run away and reach. A village in the old far west, inhabited by hippies, hackers, and a Mexican fortune teller. I see it. I'm starting to imagine the scene. Gee, what a swell town. I'll remember it as long as I live. Wee wee woo. He's gonna see that crazy Indian fortune teller. Come, I'll show you the real chicken ritual. That's all I need. With this material, I've got enough to write a masterpiece. It'll take me three or four months to finish up the plot, a few more to polish it, and six weeks to iron out the dialogue. Thanks for your help, pal. The golden chicken awaits us. Spiffy office. Thanks, and sorry for the mess. I don't know what's up with my cleaning lady lately. What do you know about the building across the way there? Ha! It's filled with as many different variants of the stuck-up and upwardly mobile as you can think of. On the first floor are Daddy's Girls and the television talk show host. And on the second are some immature athletes and a snooty broker. And so on until reaching the penthouse, where a psychiatrist lives who thinks he's Willem Dafoe. Tell me about your scripts. Hmm. I have adapted a famous novel for a video game. It's called The Unbearable Lightness of Being the Shooter. Thanks for all your help. Thank you for visiting, pal. Whilst mounted therein, the intrepid window washers of New York restore the shine and transparency to the windows of our beloved metropolis. Let's see if it works. Holy pterodactyl! What a humongous bird! Judging by its amazing height and the electrical storm brewing, I wouldn't be surprised if it were struck by lightning at any moment. Uh, judging by the height I'm at and the electrical storm brewing, I wouldn't be surprised if a dish of spaghetti fell from the sky at any moment.
with meatballs. Uh, let's think about this for a second. Its left leg is loose at the top. If I unweld it at the bottom, and I get it to fall towards Bennett's building, I'll have a slide. Okay, let's do this. Darn, it's short by a couple of feet. I'll lower the elevator just in case. I'll run to get enough momentum to go those last few feet. Good plan. It'll be the riskiest thing I've ever done, but something tells me I'm not gonna bite the dust tonight. I'm ready. As ready as I'll ever be. Oh, no, 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 no! Uh, 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 Gina! <laughs> Don't worry, I got a blowtorch. I'll burn the ropes and... <laughs> ah! What's wrong? This is for burning me! Ow, but... This one's for all you put me through! And this one? Come here. How's the report coming along, Judge? I need more time, if you want them to believe it. Think about your daughter. Write faster. Wasabi, the girl. Oh, you've disappointed me, my darling. Not so good with ropes, huh? False alarm, everything's cool. I just arranged to meet with the buyer of the trance tonight. Move it. Right away, feel me. Gotta find out what's going on. This is some major news. I gotta tell Brian. I hope he didn't get hurt. He's probably fine, but how can I really know for sure? How weird. I'd swear that wasn't there before. Could Brian have dropped it? But what would he be doing with a funnel? You gotta admit, it's much more reliable than handcuffs. I don't see what good it would do me to leave that there. I used... I'll take two. They're empty, but they may be useful for something. Who knows? Yeah, I guess it should pierce through the plastic without a hitch. Ready. Not that I listened much in school, but a while back, Brian told me about this dumb thing I keep remembering ever since. It was some sort of contraption you made by connecting two yogurt containers with a wire. Something like this, though I haven't attached one of the juice containers yet because I don't know how long I need the string to be. That's it? You're really inspired today, girl.
I finally got my memory back. Thanks to you, Gina. Good, because I have something to tell you. Listen up. This is important. I followed Wasabi because Tarantula was telling him something about the Trantonite. And... The sale will take place here tonight. The Italians are sending their man. Name is Furio, with the 10 million bucks at 3 in the morning. So that's what this is all about? All the deaths? Just for money? For a lot of money. And let's not forget the pleasure of killing. Pay attention, Wasabi. We gotta be ready for another visit. What visit's that? Vasco's coming here tonight. The dead bloke? He's alive. Whoa. He's incredibly tenacious. Mm. Half that still is stand guard. A mafia hotshot named Furio. Thanks, Gina. You just gave me a brilliant idea. Thanks, Gina. You may not understand how, but you just gave me an amazing plan. I don't, huh? So why do you think I told you about it? Uh, okay. Calm down. I'll take it from here. Tarantula is waiting for an Italian Mafia kingpin to bring $10 million at 3 in the morning. If I hand over that same amount before the Mafia kingpin gets here, while I'm dressed up as a Mafia kingpin, I could set some sort of trap. But it can't be me who goes in. They're obviously expecting me. So here's the plan. 1. Find a volunteer to pretend he's the Mafia Kingpin. 2. Disguise him well enough so they fall for it. 3. Get $10 million. 4. Give my volunteer some sort of trap to take out Tarantula when he enters the penthouse. And all of that before 3 in the morning? Thank you very much. Doesn't seem too difficult. They're full of white plastic bags like the ones in the tanks, but these ones are empty. No. Nothing of interest in the cart on the left. But on the right, there's a suit. Pants, jacket, shirt, tie, but it's really wrinkled. It's clean, but it looks like someone took a siesta on top of it. The only thing in here are stacks of leaflets, not much of a loot. The pink iguana? Where have I heard of that place before? The pink iguana? Didn't Gina work at? N nah, forget it. If it wasn't blocked with those bars, I could have tried to use it as an exit. Yuck. Ah! Who could have left that out there? Hey, it's not a rag. It's a scarf with strange markings. Call the police. Yeah, sure. Just what I need to do right now. I really like climbing in it. No. Gina! Everything okay? Yes, Brian. I saw an iron up there before, didn't I? Yep. Perfect. I'm going to tie a suit, shirt, and tie to the wire. You just pull it up, then lower it back down to me, all nice and ironed. Can you do that, honey? Hello? Gina? You there?
Hey! No reason to be so rude! Hey! I didn't do such a bad job. The best part is that with this and the silver briefcase, I now have a complete Mafia King of Pin costume ready to go. One less thing to do. I think they lead out to the alley. Wait, those doors can't be opened from the outside, and I may need to come back in later on. It's decided. I won't leave here until I can set up a system allowing me to open the doors from the outside. I've got it! The scarf is so thin that I can slip it under the door, and if I tie one end to the bar that opens the door, I can just tug on the other end from the outside and presto! It's open sesame time! Perfect! I'm sure that'll work. The nasty stench wafting out of there is enough to spur the creation of a whole new race of mutant turtles. Great idea. There's something down there. Looks like an anti-gas helmet. Headgear with more or less the same purpose as a gas mask, but in the form of a helmet. I shouldn't, but it is a restaurant, and I am kind of hungry. Hold your horse feathers. Somebody's knocking at the door. But... No one. People are so rude these days. My deepest thanks for allowing me to enter your humble abode. Encyclopedias, life insurance. Do you believe in life everlasting? Is your furniture from Ikea? By the way, allow me to introduce myself. Jonah Johnson, unemployed actor and acting waiter. With whom do I have the pleasure? Brian. Brian Basco. My mistake. No pleasure at all. How can I help you, my friend? Are you sure you're a good actor? Prove it. I don't like that idea. There are probably better ways to waste my time. Come on, just try. I don't think that will come in handy. Hey, that might just work. Hey, you're imitating me. Great idea. <laughs> Great work. Presto. I'll try again. Hey, no need to continue. I'm convinced. You can stop imitating me now. No reason to do that for the time being. Okay, stop pretending to be me. I wonder how that could be useful to me. Because I just learned how to slam a good punch and my hands are feeling a bit itchy. So you've convinced me. Nothing like a sock and a kisser to promote dialogue. The way you talk reminds me of someone. That's my job. Comes with the territory. Since Script Planet is a movie-themed restaurant, we waiters are all undiscovered actors who wait on tables while imitating known actors. This week I've been assigned a role as a Marxist actor of the Grouchian subset. It's much easier than being myself, especially with all the available documentation. Are you alone? Are you coming on to me, sir? A little respect. I'm a youth. I'm a little lost lamb. And if you're on the lamb, you ought to leave me alone. Get out of here. The restaurant's closed and I'm by myself. I have to wait for the drunkard at table 23 to wake up before I can go home. Who's the drunk guy at table 23? 
One of our illustrious customers, a bigwig from the movie industry. He's going to give me a nice roll. That's why I've been buttering him up. You look pretty healthy considering the life you live. A veritable disaster. I'm in such good shape that I spend entire days at the hospital. The doctors think it may be some strange disease. I'm going to go keep begging and stuff. Change your rug. It doesn't match the furniture. Despite the apparent lack of any millionaire ladies, I'll speak to you for a while. But don't think that sets any precedent. How do you think you'd do at playing an Italian mafia thug? Oh, mamma mia! Your papa is a dead! And your grandpapa is a dead! Your great grandpapa is a dead! Your great great grandpapa! Uh, dead! Your great 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 grandpapa! He too! Dead! All dead! Perfect! Now listen up. I need you to play a starring role as Furio, the Italian Mafia kingpin, and hand $10 million over to Tarantula, a psychopathic, ruthless mercenary. A piece of cake. But the script. I am a method actor, you know. Without the script, I have no confidence. And without the confidence, I cannot act. And if I cannot act, the mercenary. She cut my little jewels of the familia off of my little body. And with my little jewels of the familia cut off. Oh, mamma mia. Okay, I'll get you a script then. We got a deal? Someday I'll ask you for a favore. In the meantime, yes, get me the script. Well, it seems getting my hands on a script will be easy. Hey, Tom, what do you need? I found the perfect buyer for the script about the nerdy guy. But we hardly even sketched it out. Our buyer wants me to write a scene for him that he thought of. Shoot, here we go again. Back with the old creative producers. What does the scene involve? Furio, an Italian mafia thug, goes into Tarantula's lair because she has a precious stone called Trantonite. In exchange for the stone, Furio will give her $10 million. And the dramatic tension. Where's the dramatic tension? The appointment was at 3 in the morning, but Furio arrived way early because he's kind of a nervous type. So Tarantula wasn't comfortable with the whole affair, and Furio had to convince her he wasn't an imposter. That would work. Okay. How many golden chickens do you see on my desk? <laughs> One. Good eye, pal. When you see two, I'll write the scene for that producer. In the meantime, I'll stick to polishing the plot. I've got to narrate. What is this silliness about the golden chicken? It is not silliness. It is theft. You've seen 5,000 Ways to Say I Love You, right? Of course. It won a golden chicken. It's a classic. And what a script. Thank you very much, pal. Yours truly here authored it. Thanks for all your help. Thank you for visiting, pal. That's the dining area in a restaurant. Looks empty. Oh wait, there's a guy asleep at one of the tables. I think. That's the There's a guy. Well, actually, it's not a window. It's just a thick glass panel that doesn't open or close. It's the staff entrance to Script Planet, a restaurant decorated with a movie script writer theme. Takes all kinds, huh?
Would you mind if I don't smoke? Why do you need the script? Without the script, I have no confidence. And without the confidence, I cannot act. And if I cannot act, the mercenary, she cut my little jewels of the familia off of my little body. And with my little jewels of the familia cut off, oh, mamma mia. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna go keep begging and stuff. Then any and all welcomes are out of order. Hey, Tom, what do you need? You wrote 5,000 ways to say I love you, but they've made sequels in a series and you should be filthy rich. Yes, but someone stole my script and kept the chicken, the money, and the recognition. Who stole your script for 5,000 ways to say I love you? I can't remember his name. A novice of a writer. A boozed-up clown who was always falling asleep after lunch, no matter what greasy spoon he was in. Don't the homeowners in the building complain that you're here? Why would they complain? The building's owned by Golden Chicken Incorporated. I've won two chickens, even though one was wickedly stolen from me. I haven't paid my respects to the management because the doorman has it in for me. But I'm certain they feel proud to be accompanied by such an illustrious fellow tenant. What's in those jars out there? One of them just appeared in my mailbox one day with some medical supplies. Thanks for all your help. Thank you for visiting, pal. There's a guy asleep at one of the... Come to think of it, I bet he's the guy who stole the golden chicken from Tom. There's a guy asleep at one of the tables, I think. Come to think of it, I bet he's the guy who stole the golden chicken from Tom. If the last thing I was told is true, it might be worth the risk. There's my chicken. <laughs> it's shaped almost the same, and even though it weighs slightly more, it should do the trick. Shoot, he almost woke up. The piece of rubble is nearly perfect for switching with the golden chicken. Too bad it doesn't weigh a tiny bit less. Just call me... This should be called 5,000 Ways to Drive Brian Crazy. But the payback is always worthwhile in the end. Pretty cool, huh?
If you insist, beggars can't be choosy. Hey, that might just work. If I place one bill on top of each stack of leaflets in exactly the right way, it could pass for $10 million. Well, that's one less thing on my anti-tarantula plan to-do list. That's it. I think it's becoming clear and clear to me just what the tarantula trap could consist of. But I've got to put on the old thinking cap again. Done. It was in a sewer, which is an appropriate place, I guess. What do you need? I need to tell you that I see two golden chickens on your desk. Yeah, I see them. I'm looking at them. All right, have a seat while I write the Furio and Tarantula scene for our buyer. Mister, you've got your script here. Go, look, take, speak with, use with, the eternal questions. Huh? Thanks, Tom. I'll make good use of it. Perfect. Thanks to this, Jonah will help me out for sure. And the best part is that my anti-tarantula plan is getting closer and closer to being complete. One is full of liquid, and the others with some sort of olives that are extremely reminiscent of cockroaches. I'll open this one. Let the cucarachas rest in peace. Oh! Chloroform, or something worse. A half second more and I'd be unconscious. No, I think... Good plan. I'll spray the leaflets with the chloroform, and when Tarantula opens up the briefcase, she'll immediately faint. Boys and girls, do not try this at home, especially on $10 million. Cool. I realize now that I've got the costume, the 10 million bucks, and basically everything for the perfect trap. All I have to do is get the anti-gas helmet to Gina and dress up my volunteer. Here we go. The time has come to put my plan into action. You look awesome, Jonah. I'm sure they'll fall for it. Sir, perfection is my only defect. No, Jonah. Remember, you're supposed to be Furio. Mamma mia, I almost put my foot in the mouth of myself. Well, don't worry about it. Come on, Jonah, you can do this. No performance is beyond your acting skill. I can do it. It is impossible. Impossible. I cannot. Why cannot you? I am scared, like a little chicken chicken. Scared? The stage of fright. The most monstrous, hugest man I ever seen in front of the building door. Make it a man. It is a bull. It is a gargantuan bull of a Spanish matador. I don't move up from here until the bull goes arrivederci. Capisce? All right, yeah. Capito. Guess I have no other choice. Let's go check out the bull of the Spanish matador. Jonah's right. That ox is huge, but it doesn't matter. I have to get him to shoe or my plan goes awry.
Let's check out just how silly the idea of tying the scarf to the bar on the door was. Turns out my crazy idea works after all. I like it. No, I don't think Gina can really make any use of it for now. to get him to shoo, or my plan goes awry. I have to get... I don't think that's a good... Wait, I can provoke him into chasing me and get him away from the main entrance that way, but where do I run to? Beyond the shadow of a doubt, one of the most brilliant ideas I've come up with in years. Come on, let's get this over with. Hey, Fatso, you waiting for somebody? It's me, Brian. Brian Basco. Now I'll find Jonah. You are sure? No more bull of the Spanish matador? Of course not, Jonah. Benny, it is arrived. The moment of my starring role. I come to you, great seventh art. Furio is here! I know exactly what you're thinking that I'm gonna send the hack actor into the fire while I just kick back and relax, right? Well, you've got it wrong. Signorina Tarantula, where is the miraculous stone? You're early. Oh, mamma mia. My mother, she made the fettuccine all'arrabbiata that is like for licking the fingers, and she said, Furio, my sweet boy, don't come home late from killing the people or the pasta. It becomes like the sole of a wet shoe. Ma, what a lousy screenwriter has written this crappy dialogue. You're right. I'm early. And so what? The cash. Signorina Tarantula, it is a pleasure to do the business with you. Right to the point. <sighs> Bad hair day. Miss Palmer, nice dress. I owe you my life, and especially my daughter's. Consider yourself a free man, Mr. Basco. Tomorrow I'll make it official. Now, there's a lot of work to be done. The police are on their way. Is anyone gonna come on me? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. Mi sorride, posso fare un tappolino che mi ha chiesto il mio.
mio canto è quando portò tu e casa per nel bagaglio. Signorina Tarantula, it is always a pleasure to do the business with you. Always to the point. I'll give it a Trento night to the Sandretti brothers pronto. Enjoy the ten milioni dollari. Are you impressed? We robbed the Sandrettis for the second time. It could become our specialty. Till they find out it's just volcanic rock. One thing. How'd you get in here? It was easy. I started a telepathic conversation with Alpha who disintegrated my body and sent my particles to a parallel dimension where Bennett was living on the ground floor. Then he reintegrated them, returning me to our dimension and... This is not the Savant tonight! Look the door, ragazzi! Run! When I asked so oh, how much you hurt me, I bought the devil his soul. When he saw how much I love you, the devil sold me his soul. Now, my dear, I can't do nothing but hate, and all my hate is for you. I bought the devil his soul. It all stayed in so like some synthesizer from the 80s! To sum it all up, I loved it. They don't have me locked up in a loony bin for nothing, right? <laughs> 